So today we're going to be taking this Evolution chop saw and making it to where we can put it on a saw stand and rotate it for the angles that we need to cut. But we're going to be making it to where this fence will be able to uh, hook onto another fence that I'm going to make. That way it's going to pivot off of that point so that I can just spin this, tighten this back down and cut whatever I need to cut. So originally these come with this uh, bolt, it's got a 16 millimeter uh, shoulder on it and it threads into the base so that way you can lock that down as well as this to make sure it's super sturdy. What we're going to be doing is running an even longer bolt that'll fit through like that. We're going to put that down and then down below on the base that I'm building is going to be a, uh, a welded in nut that'll act as our pivot point. So that way, this will all pivot off of this. So right here, I'm just measuring out the base and then I'm cutting out a uh, frame uh, that will fit underneath that base. using the edge of the table to make a uh, nice 90. Now I'm using the TIG welder and what I should have done is just TIG the top part that I planned on grinding off and then MIG welding the rest. It would have made it a lot quicker, but I was a little lazy. Also you can see me using a giant cup and I just used that because it was already on there and the uh, gas was already set up for it. But you'd save a lot of gas if you just switch over to a five or six, especially if it's something that doesn't need to be colorful like on mild steel. I'm sanding off the top part so that the um, the saw will slide easy on it. I'm adding these little wings on here <clears throat> just so that when I pivot the saw, it'll still be um, held by something, some extra support. Now I'm cutting out the base plate that's going to rest underneath the saw so that it'll pivot on it. I'm, kind of, I'm removing all the mill scales so that it'll slide easier on the bottom side. Top side I'm not worried about. use some transfer punches to mark the spots where I need my bolts to be welded. Transferred it onto there and welded those bolts on. Now I just uh, transfer punch the pivot point and I'm using a mag drill to drill it out. going to transfer punch that onto the frame that I built. gonna weld the nut in. Now I just welded a wing nut on top of that bolt. That way it's easier to spin in 
Here I'm just building some offsets so that I can mount this saw stand straight to my studs in my wall. Adding some gussets. welding about two sides. It doesn't have to be fully welded out. I just clamped it to my table that way I could uh, make some cuts for some offsets to keep it away from the wall. studs and I realized that my stud finder was a liar and my studs were nowhere near where it said it was so now I've got to cut them off and build some new offsets and put those braces back on in a place where the studs actually are that laser and that's just a laser level it auto levels at any height you need it you just put it on a tripod and it comes in handy for a ton of things especially when you're drilling into studs or like um, doing countertops and things like that works great Right here, I'm just building my uh, saw stands on either side of the uh, saw, and I'm going to level those out and mount them to the wall also.
finally got the uh, HTP Pro Pulse 220 out, which I wish I would have done at the beginning because it would have made it a lot quicker. You can see that one mounted up right now. Now I'm just working on the second one. Right here I forgot to turn the leveler onto self-leveling, so it causes a problem here in a minute. That's when I realized it. Right here I'm just drilling out the holes on the saw stand a little more so I can have a little better adjustment to level it to the saw stand that I have. Now I'm going to build some storage shelves for underneath, just some little ones and I'll probably add a few more here in the future also. Here we go. I welded this fence to this. Uh, hopefully that'll work. It, it welded like cast. I just put some vertical up welds, just small ones to hold it. And then it's welded over there too, just to hold all this straight. Eventually I'll probably put something, some backing on there. But for now I think this will be good. So you just loosen it up, pull your set. Let it lock in at 45 or whatever angle you want. Your angle finder's up here. Now it's all good to go. So eventually I'll have a full fence system like this along this direction. And then I can put like a tape measure along here and that way that'll end right at the beginning of that saw blade. So that way I know what my, uh, what my measurement will be without having to get out a uh, tape measure. Well, thanks for watching that video. This is one of the things that I've been wanting to build for like a year or two. And I finally got my shop set up enough to build it. And it's been working awesome. I've had it for probably just over a week now. And I've been building handrails with it. So a lot of angled cuts. And it, it works great. You can lock it down at any point you need. You can use the automatic 45 and 90s in it. 
and all your pieces will stay here. So eventually when I get my fence all set up, then I can measure straight off of that fence from the blade and I'll probably even put glue like a tape measure to it so that I can just set a stop on the fence that'll be like this, just some angle iron. And then I can, you know, clamp my stop, run my pieces up there and be good to go. Also, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to weld some pieces that go to about here, wherever it will clear the saw, and it goes flat up against there, and then also on the inside here, so that way I can put a uh, slidable uh, stand piece, so that way no pieces will fall, you know, if they're too short to reach over there, but too long for this to hold it, and same over here. And after that, it should be complete. So, anyways, hopefully this video helps you out. Uh, saw stands like this are awesome, especially if you're doing any type of production stuff. So, thanks for watching.